Hello Loli. As promised, I'm sending you a video of my hobbyist mushroom operation. Let me just take you uh, through it step by step. And I'm going to go kind of fast because I don't want this to be too long. So over here, I have um, different substrates that I like to use. These are oats that make a great substrate. Uh, mushroom really love to grow on oats to mycelium. And here, I have um, wood shavings from a local cabinet maker. This is hard wood shavings. So that's what I use for substrate. But then I, if you come over here, <clears throat> the next step in the process is you take your substrates, um, at least what I do, and I use these bags, um, and I put the, uh, the soaked oats or the soaked wood chips uh, in these bags, and then um, I sterilize them in this pressure cooker. Once they're sterilized, I take them out <clears throat> and under my flow hood here, which is uh, HEPA air, I will take a culture and in here is my library of different organisms like shiitake, blue oyster, lion's mane. So let's just say I'm gonna do a lion's mane. So I'll come under here under the flow hood with my sterilized grain and I will take some of my culture aseptically and inoculate the, uh, the grain or the sawdust. Then you want to let that uh, culture the mycelium run and for that you have to do that in the dark. And so here down here and up here I have a little dark area. And you can see here uh, some grain, sterilized grain, but it has the uh, mycelium growing on it. This is blue oyster. So when this becomes really uh, totally white, I'll bring it into the fruiting chamber. So you can see here I have different types of uh, mushrooms, Italian oyster, shiitake, golden oyster. And down here I also have some mushrooms cooking some lion's mane, but they're very, very young. There's not, not much mycelium growing there. So after the mushrooms um, have totally colonated the uh, grain or the substrate, then I bring them into the fruiting chamber, which is here. It's a very small setup that's, uh, and I'll open it for you. <clears throat> So in here, I have this humidity maker. So if I turn it on, you can see, if you Kathy zooms in there, you can see how it creates a humidity chamber inside. Okay. Over here, you can see I have different oysters that are in different stages of production. Here's some Italian oyster that are just getting started. In, in about a day or maybe two, these will be fully ready to be harvested. Here I have um, lion's mane mushroom. And here, some Italian oyster coming up. So not a lot, just enough to keep the, uh, keep my wife happy. And this is some shiitake that I'm trying to grow on, on wood. But that's about it. It's, uh, it takes a long time to get it going and I'm learning as I go. But I hope this little video helped you. Bye.